Hey folks, it's Captain Julian with SaltsCon. We're here today with my friend, Captain Pascal Alexander. Uh, both of us have been in the airline industry for a long time. Uh, both of us are instructors and evaluators at a major airline. How, how long have you been in the business, Pascal? Been in the business about 20 years. 20 years. You started out, how'd you start out? Just a little bit about your background. Well, I started off, you know, I was a seven-year-old kid, you know, down at Ellington Field, watching an air show and saw the Blue Angels and said, you know, I'd love to do that. So that's how I kind of started. Yeah. my passion flying airplanes. So we've both been in the business a long time. Pascal, man, unfortunately has this beautiful uh, Baron that he has here. He loves to fly in his time off. And um, we were talking about corrosion issues and uh, Pascal said to come on out and we'll kind of demonstrate our product to him and talk about what corrosion means to you. Have you had any corrosion issues or things that concern you a little bit here with your aircraft? Um, yes, I've had corrosion issues kind of on my panel right in there and we noticed uh, rivet head was missing and when we opened it up we saw corrosion on the formers and stringers that I had to get replaced by the manufacturer. And those where rivets come together it's like a crevice corrosion and it's really kind of hard to stay ahead of that kind of thing and that's really what salts gone does for folks. We can get rid of the salts, the pollutants, the things that cause the corrosion in the first place. We can stop that from forming and man, I know that in like 2006, there was over 2 billion just in corrosion related uh, incidents trying to fix stuff on aircraft. So hey, how about talking to us a little bit about where you had, what, what did you have here with your corrosion? What we had to do was we noticed one of the rivets was missing right around in this point. So when we opened it up, we noticed that the formers and stringers in this area were very corroded. Right. So we had to actually take this whole panel off and have it replaced, which is not cheap to do. Anything with an airplane is not cheap to do, right? Correct. <laughs> Absolutely, yep. And you'll see this a lot with aircraft, folks, where you have two metals coming together. If you're just washing your plane with fresh water, you're really just dissolving the salt and you're moving it around and it'll push it up into these crevices, especially like where your flaps are, where the two points come together and it gets trapped in there. And that's really where we in run into some of these issues. So. To keep the salt and keep the acids and keep the pollutants off your plane, if you do this regularly, man, there's a much less chance of kind of having the issue you have. Rivet areas, uh, crevice corrosion, uh, these can be really big areas for us. So what we're going to try to do today for Pascal and everybody else is just teach you a little bit about corrosion, how we can kind of deal with that, and uh, ways to protect your aircraft. Because in this, it's a lot less expensive to stay ahead. And it's not just about expensive, it's about safety too. So salt's gone is plural because we address the other various forms of salt as well. Uh, so sodium chloride is obviously the type of salt that comes uh, out of the ocean. So that would be salt to air. Uh, but there's also potassium chlorides, magnesium chlorides, and a lot of those are environmental salts, road salts, those types of things. So that's where the salt's gone plural comes in. But very simply, what salt's gone does is there's three different parts to it. Uh, it removes salt through the chemical process of chelation. So salt's gone is a chemical aid for the removals of salt. Chelation is simply giving the sodium something it likes more than the chlorine and the chlorine something it likes more than sodium. Next step is gonna be corrosion inhibitors. Essentially what makes salt corrosive is its strong desire for electrons. So we're gonna inhibit that corrosion by providing copious amounts of extra electrons to the surface and that's gonna easily prevent uh, corrosion as salt begins to accumulate on the surface. And then lastly, there's premium surfactant in the product. The surfactant is what gives it the shine, makes it look clean when it's in, and essentially surfactants make things slippery, and that's what allows for dirt and those other types of things to easily fall off of the surface. This is a hose end sprayer. This is gonna be great for this size airplane, perfect for general aviation where you might own your own aircraft. We have much larger delivery devices for FBOs or people maintaining multiple aircraft or larger aircraft, but the hose end sprayer is very simply gonna proportion the product at the one to 100 ratio. Uh, so a little bit goes a long way. And you'll be able to see kind of where we start with this bottle in the beginning. As we work through this aircraft, we'll show you at the end exactly how much we use so you can get an idea of what type of consumption you would have on the product. But very simple to apply, spray on and rinse off. So Pascal, there's certain, uh, certain areas you really want to hit with the plane, especially you know if you're taxiing around on salty runways or you're up north and they've treated the runways. Uh, on the brakes, the wheel area, and up in the um, landing gear wheel wells, these wells, when they suck the gear up, it'll actually suck that salt and corrosion up into the well itself. So that's the spot you really want to hit well. Uh, the leading edge of your props and your props, 
can have a lot of friction. It'll tend to chip it a little bit. You can get some uh, pitting. So really want to hit your props really well. And the spinners themselves, there's a lot of friction. And like you were talking about, right in the engine is fine. There's not paint on some of the areas that uh, you were worried about, but we're totally safe to spray it right in here. So your flight control is a really important part. Anywhere we have a joint or like these uh, two metals coming together here, the salt will get trapped up behind the aileron. We've extended the flaps so we can get that very thoroughly. So when you bring the flaps back up, that salt and those uh, corrosive materials aren't trapped up in there. Good news is on these joints that are greased and you have protection, it'll leave all that grease and all the oil-based protection you have already on there. Just spraying it off with the water, rinse on, rinse off. We're all good. It's that quick. So here again, main landing gear, when you're taxiing around on a salty surface, you're up north on a treated runway. When you bring that gear up in, it'll be around the brakes, and now you've got it uh, up there kind of trapped. And this is really a spot you want to hit really hard is your braking systems and the wheel well themselves. So we did a very thorough washing on the Baron today, and you can see people are asking, how much of this do we use? We started about here today. We used about a half, maybe a third to a half, uh, just on a very thorough washing today. So Pascal took, what, about five minutes to do your whole plane and just kind of clean it off and do all that. We just really want to thank you today for coming out with us, letting us use your plane, kind of teach you something. Did you learn something? What are you, what are you taking away from this? Oh, what I really like, Julian, it didn't take very long to do so. And by the way, thanks for protecting my airplane, and it's very shiny today. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Pascal. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks, Julian. Thanks.